This one's probably the only photo we have before the haircut that shows some personality. The images of this abandoned Pekingese dog are so off-putting they require some explanation. The worst part that stands out about him were the front legs. So there's a front paw in there, and there's a front paw or leg in there. The dark areas caked in dried up feces and urine are paws and legs so covered in matted hair that they're barely recognizable. The matting was so severe that the dog could not even move or walk. I immediately knew that this was a severe case of neglect beyond what I'd ever seen before. On Saturday, a resident on College Farm Road found him left for dead. At first, veterinarian Susan Rosenblatt didn't know what to think when he was brought into the Kindness Animal Hospital on Linden Street. And I didn't even realize that there was an animal in there. I mean, I knew I was expecting it, but I didn't see what looked like an animal. The dog had green discharge oozing from his nose and was missing an eye that appeared to have been surgically removed. Worried about sedating him or removing the thick layers of matting, Rosenblatt ran x-rays and discovered evidence of pneumonia alongside something almost unbelievable. A rather large, maybe two to three inch open safety pin overlying his lungs on the x-ray. Staff spent an hour removing the mats which were badly tangled with severely overgrown toenails then administered antibiotics. The dog weighed nearly four pounds less after being shaved. Staff from the hospital and the kennel next door stayed after hours to ensure that the dog would be comfortable but by the next afternoon his condition had worsened. Um, so I just sat with him and petted him for a long time. And uh, he died shortly thereafter. I wasn't with him when he passed away, but... The case is now a criminal investigation. The MSPCA is offering a $1,000 reward for any information about the dog's owner that could lead to a conviction. According to MSPCA law enforcement, animal cruelty carries penalties of five years in a state prison or two and a half years in a county jail, although such severe sentences are rarely imposed. Though it's very hard to look at, uh, you know, it appeals to your basic human instinct. We've gotten a lot of feedback uh, after we published his photos. A lot of people are very upset, and the first instinct is to lash out at whoever could have let this happen. Um, but I am right now calling it a case of severe neglect, the worst I've seen in 11 years. If you have any information about the dog's owner, please call the MSPCA at 617-522-6008. If you're interested in adopting an animal, you can contact the Kindness Animal Hospital at 781-893-2800 for more information. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.